one of the things I really like about the J programming language is that it gets out of your way and lets you do work. So for instance, that becomes just like a big calculator. Now the minimalist approach to the display can have a few odd things that come up. So for instance, I've got a variable A that's seven, variable B that's seven. It makes sense that I could add A to B. That doesn't make so much sense, but a domain error usually means there's a difference in type. Now, even if I say had a different version of seven and C that was seven, and I could add A and C to get 14, that doesn't mean they're going to act exactly the same way. So for instance, if I want to get the reciprocal of A, that's one way. If I want to get the reciprocal of C, now I've got a rational number. I've got an exact number compared to a floating point number. So what I wanted to do with, with my versions here was come up with a way to have a display that would actually clearly show me the differences between the different types. So let's start off with Boolean. Zero is a Boolean value. It's going to look differently. If I want to find out, if I forget what that looks like, I can hover and it's going to have an atom and it's Boolean. Now this is being done in the JHS programming environment with the Chrome browser and I'm actually creating an SVG representation of the number that includes this extra information. So let's do an integer. We've seen integers before. Integers actually look pretty much the same and I kind of figured that made sense for them being integers. So there we go. It's an integer and its shape is an atom. Uh, what about a floating point? Floating points look like that. If you forget, you just hover over top. What about a complex number? So with a real part three and imaginary part four, J in the middle, that's what those look like. Now you might notice the visual preceding it on the, each of the entry lines. I'm putting that in so I don't forget what form I'm in because if I flip back and forth like I am between the standard and the regular forms, the visual reminds me that's what I'm looking at. So again, if I hover over top, it's an atom and it's complex. I can also do a rational. So that's three quarters, an exact three quarters, and that's the rational representation. For the complex and the, and the uh, rational, what's interesting is the center um, letter can get separated by color as well as by the fact that it's a letter and not numbers. And that makes it a lot easier to see the, the differences between the uh, part in front of the letter and the part behind the letter. So I kind of like that as well. Um, also uh, have extended. So if I have extended, this is kind of like rational, except there's not the ratio part of it, and it's still an exact, and it looks a little different. We shall had literals before. There's the example of a literal, and I can actually show that it's a literal. But in here, if I hover over it, you might have seen that before, it actually tells me the ASCII value of it. So a little more information is available that way too. And finally, the one I'm working on currently, and I haven't quite all the answers to it, is Unicode. Because Unicode does some very odd things in J. I have to think about how I want this to look, but at least if I have a Unicode character at this point, I can display single Unicode characters and I can see that they are different than the others. So I'll switch back to the standard display and we'll take a quick look at this. What we see is numerals inside boxes and the boxes may be a clue. The boxes are the way to glue the different types together. There are different types here. I'll go back to my enhanced display and see what this looks like. And you can see right away, this is a Unicode. This is a literal. This is rational, extended, floating if you forget that that's what it looks like, complex, integer, and Boolean. And as an extra bonus, because this is all actually its own list of boxes. I can also hover off here and I get its shape of eight boxes. So I'm going to go over uh, a bit more of this in the succeeding videos. Um, the next one actually will be more about the uh, character, the literal um, variable, because there's a lot happening with literal when you start looking at it this way. And there's reasons uh, that I've done a number of things that I have. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you continue to watch my view of the enhanced display of the J programming language.